Hey, what's happening guys? Um, so today's video is going to be a deep water worm fishing video, which I know that's not why all y'all tune in. You want to see freaking frog blow ups that are just like kaboom, but I got deep water worm fishing for you today. So, you know, sometimes you want to go shallow and you want to force feed them the frog and I tried my ass off this trip to just shove that frog down their throat, but it just was not happening. The shallow bite was literally non-existent. Um, so you gotta pick up the shaky head, you gotta adapt. And that's what I did. I'm gonna show y'all real quick here, my shaky head setup. Spinner reel ain't nothing fancy. I used to have a Shimano Stratic. As you can see, I got bird shit on my reel. I got shit on twice, two days in a row, somehow. Fucking, I'm tired of those water birds, whatever those things are that sit in the trees right outside of Barton Creek right there. They just, they have it out for me lately. They just really want to crap on my head and on my gear. Um, so I'm throwing a Shimano Sedona. Uh, yeah, I used to have a Shimano Stratic. That thing was freaking best, best spinning reel I've ever used. I think it was like the C14. Ended up stepping on the bale and broke it and got the replacement parts. And it was just way too much of a headache to fix that freaking thing. So I just got a freaking $80, $90 Sedona, 3000 sized. And I mean, this is all you need. You really don't need a fancy spinning reel. It's just, it's just nice having it, but it's not necessary. Um, so for line on this, I go 20 pound braid. I think that's perfect. Uh, you want a little bit of thickness to it because I mean, it still frays up. You can still break off. If you're if you're not careful, but that's why I set my drag fairly loose so I can still set the hook solid and kind of let the drag do the work for me. But yeah, I go 20 pound braid to a 12 pound leader. That's about as light as I like to go. I went out one one trip with straight up eight pound fluorocarbon and I broke off like four fish. Like there's all sorts of stuff at the bottom of Ladybird. There's zebra mussels. There's heroin needles, dead bodies. You know, uh, you got to beef up your tackle. Uh, and the worm I'm throwing, this, this was the main worm I was throwing, was the Morning Dawn. Uh, I forget what these trick worms are called, but it's the ones that have like three layers. Like they got, this one has like a blue bar inside of it. Um, they're in like a whole separate category from the rest of the trick worms in, on Tackle Warehouse. But yeah, that's what I'm throwing on an owner shaky head uh this is the whatever the weight is that's one size below 3 16th i think it's like it might be a 1 8th but uh that is the freaking ticket right there you can throw a 3 16th you're just gonna it's it's gonna fall a little bit faster but man i think that is just the perfect shaky head setup um and you can probably go 10 pound leader if you really want to i just don't trust it i really don't there uh I mean, I, I still break off sometimes on 12 pound. You get little nicks in your line and you know, shit happens. Uh, the other color I was throwing was the, uh, so H2O is actually making soft plastics now. They're hard baits I've been using for a long time. They're really good. Uh, yeah, H2O makes literally a trick worm. It's, it's, it's a replica of a trick worm. Like, I don't know how they get away with it, but it's, it's a fucking trick worm. Uh, and so this one is motor oil. This is right up there with one of my favorite colors. It might be my favorite color for a worm, just straight motor oil. I've used the trick worm version, but the trick worm version, they only have motor oil with a chartreuse tail. And I've always wanted just straight motor oil. And I finally got it uh, with H2O brand. Um, yeah, it probably looks real basic. Uh, just from your point of view, but whenever this goes in the water, it actually kind of turns like a kind of a chartreuse, like a like a glowy kind of green in the water, if that makes any sense. You really don't know until you see it, but uh, that's what I'm throwing. Um, let me show you all the other setup I'm using. So setup number two I'm throwing. I'm not really like an Abu guy, but Man, this I got this reel for 30 bucks. It's usually $130, and this thing has actually been pretty phenomenal. Like this thing cast a fucking mile. Um, it's a seven 
uh, for, give me a second here. Seven, three to one gear ratio. Pretty fast, big beefy handles on this thing. They got really good grip. Uh, the rod is a 7.1 medium heavy, extremely versatile rod. This is a, this is 13 fishing makes this rod called Fate. It was just Fate that I just, I just had to buy this rod. It was just Fate. Uh, anyways. And I was throwing that on this Zoom. It's kind of like, if you've seen the Zoom speed crawls, it has that type of tail. Um that real like you just reel it fast through the water and it gives that crazy swimming action five aught heavy wire uh like a straight shank probably about a five sixteenth weight not a super heavy weight but not super light either and a peg bobber stop and you'll see at the end of the video i caught a few fish just ripping this thing out the grass working it real aggressive making that tail swim and I got some really aggressive reaction bites out of that on, on the way back to the ramp after we stopped messing them up on the bridges uh, with the shaky head. So yeah, um, hope you all enjoy this one. I'm gonna try to stay with a more consistent upload schedule. I've just been, you know, whenever you work all day, the, the first thing you wanna do when you get home is not sit and edit a video for two hours typically, but I'm going to try to uh, be more consistent with the uploads and uh, all that good stuff. And I want to do some lure reviews too. Um, I think I want to do like a top 10 frog video and top 10 most disappointing frogs. That's going to be a really long video. So stay tuned for that one. That should be coming up pretty soon. Um, yeah. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Stay tuned. Bro, that's a good one. It's not that big. That shaky head in the morning dawn. Pretty long fish, but it's not that big. Oh, dude, this is a good one. This is a good one, bro. Yeah, this is a good one. Bro, she was like swimming with it. This is a good fish, dude. She's tugging. Oh yeah, she's nice. Three plus. 
<laughs> Two in a row, baby. Hmm. Jeez. Oh, dude! Jake! I just had a monster bass try to eat this one. Holy crap, bro. Fucking monster came up and tried to eat this thing. I knew I saw her. That's a good one. She's not fighting very hard, but she's big. That's a big one. <laughs> Oh my god, that might be a five pounder. Wow, she grew, huh? Man, come here, fish. Wow, that's a big one. Oh, she's not. That's a freaking. That's like a high three pounder, though. Beautiful fish. I know. I got a fish. I got a fish. Feels big. That's a good one, bro. Dude, the head shakes on this thing are fucking crazy. <laughs> God. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chunky. Not, not bad. She's not really good either, though. <laughs> she hit the bottom of my kayak. Oh, she's not bad. Come here, you. Come here, you. Gotcha. Jake, big, oh my god, Jake, monster. Giant.
Oh my gosh. I knew as soon as I set the freaking hook. <laughs> God. You see that jump? <laughs> Dude, she was not coming off. Holy moly. Real thick. She was pulling. She got her in pretty quick. 5.79. 5.82. Almost, almost a 6. Sweet. God, that's awesome. <laughs> I think it's the pressure change, man. It has to be. Pressure change puts them on. Dude. This might be big. I can't tell. Oh, dude, 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 dude. I think this is a really big one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's like a four. Oh man. Oh. Dude, was like, that was a four plus. It was big, bro. It was big. Ah, should probably get a net. Jake. Dude, ripping it out the grass, he smoked it. Dude, that was a savage bite, bro. <laughs> I'm just ripping it as hard as I could out the grass. Bam!
Jake. Jake. What? What's on? That worm. I'm just like, I'm working it quick. Hell yeah. Nice. Yo, I'm just hopping this worm out the freaking grass as hard as I can. This is a fun bite. Cool, cool. I gotcha. Nothing big yet. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, we'll probably bring it, bring a net out there with me next time. It, I was just so disappointed I lost that that one good one that jumped off. Um, I, I play them out for a long time because I'm just worried about them jumping. Uh, I just I'm trying to keep their head down and trying to tire them out. But you don't you really don't have to tire them out if you bring a net with you. You can just pull them to you gradually. And if they do jump, you can just scoop them in, into the net. So I'll, I'll probably start bringing a net with me, um, at least for those bigger fish, um, just so I'm not struggling right at the uh, right at the right when they get boat side. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch y'all next time.